Good morning, motivation team. I hope y'all having a great morning. If you didn't do so already, tell your family you love them and smile. Y'all, yesterday we talked about what happened with the floods and what Noah did to Canaan. So today we talking about the generation of his children. And it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be real quick. And whoever out there that can help me out, light, enlighten me on some things of something that I should know. And if I said something wrong, just holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, hey, I told y'all I'm learning. But I'm showing y'all the process. Like, of course, we, I'm not going to get everything right. Of course, I'm, I'm not going to understand everything because it's my first time actually getting into it. So, while I'm on here, so I can have an, have an audience. So that they can tell me, hey, I don't think you were right about this part right here. Get good to go back and look at it. You know what I'm saying? Just reread re that right there. But anyway, let's get into today's word. I believe, I do think that a lot of these characters right now will just, will matter for the future. Like, will matter for what goes on later in the Bible. Right now, it's just telling us everything that's, Everything that is happening, who's all with who, is not telling us what's all, what these people did just yet. It ain't telling us what, why, why we are getting to know these people. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's word. So, like I said, we talk about Noah's children. Noah had three kids, Shem, Ham, and Jabeth. Jabeth had seven kids. Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. Gomer had three kids. Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Tagarmon. Another one of Gomer's kids, Javan, he had... And another one of Gomer's kids, he had four children. Javan. Javan had four children. Elisha, Tarshish, Kitum, and Dodanin. All of them were spread out amongst different areas, creating their own form of languages, developing different de developing different tribes, different nations. So they were having kids and dispersing them out and creating different languages and, and all type of things. All right, so Ham, he had four sons. Cush, Mizraim, Foot and Canaan. Cush had five kids. Seba, Havila, Sabta, Rama, and Sebteka. And Rama had two, Sheba and Dadan. Cush, he was a father of Nimrod. Nimrod was a mighty warrior. He was a strong fighter. And he also defied the Lord. He had a kingdom that started in Babel, a rich, a cod, Kalanin, and the land of Shinar. He moved from a shore. Now, I was switching between two versions of the Bible, and they were naming Ashur and Azria the same thing. So, if I'm saying Ashur and Azria, they the same thing. They the same thing. Ashur and Azria. So yeah, so they had moved to Ashur and started building on Nineveh, Rehoboth, and Kala. And there was a city named Rezin that was right in between those two, Nineveh and Kala. Egypt or Mizraim took over Ludum, Anamim, Lahabim, Nap, Thuim, Pathruzim, and Kalshum, and all of their ancestors was Philistines. So Canaan, he had his first city. His first city was Sidon, and his other city was Heth, which brought up ten tribes. Canaan, his very first city was Sidon. 
and he had a son named Hill. Now, they had 10 tribes, y'all. 10 of them. The name of those tribes were Jebusite, Amorite, Gergesite, Hivite, Archite, Sinite, Arvidite, and the Zemarite, and the Hamathite. All of them were one. Like, not one, but all, you know what I'm saying? As a family, all of them was one. And the Canaanites were spreading out. The Canaanites started to spread up, started to spread out. They started to spread out all across different lands. It said in 1019, it says, in the border of the Canaanites, was from Sidon as thou comest to Gerar unto Gaza as thou goest unto Sidon and Gomorrah and, and Adma and Zobum even unto Lash, L Lasha, Lasha. And that, I believe that's just saying that it was just, it was spreading out all across all of those. It was just, the Canaanites was just spreading out all, all around it. And also y'all, I think I realized that some of okay, some of these people are some of the when it say is there are their sons, I do believe that they're some of them are actually like father, like made between man and woman. But I also think it's like father, like they look up to them. Like he started this and he got he got them alone, so they call him father. That's what I think. If it, but if it's their actual children, then cool. Because I looked it up. Because I was doing some research. I, I look up a person in their... And the, and the name for their sons or whatever, don't be under it. Like, if it say Canaan, and it says his son supposed to be doom, doom, doom. I don't see doom, doom. I only see one person. If anybody got some that they can light and light my and light my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Now Shem now they brought up this word forefather. And this is why I say what I just said. Forefather means like a, a ancestor. Somebody that took care of them that was not their grandfather or their father. They were a forefather. And it says Shem was a forefather of Eber. Eber, E B E R. Shem's children were Elam, Ashur, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. Aram kids were Uz, Hu, Gadar, and Maj. Arphaxad was the father of Arphaxad was the father of Salah, and Salah had Eber. Eber had two sons, Peleg, which was born while the earth was divided. Now, I don't know what that means yet. So, if anybody want to let me know. He had Peleg and Jokhtan. Jokhtan. And Jokhtan had 13 kids, y'all. It said he had 13 what was he doing? 13? All right, here you go. Jotham had Almadad, Shalif, Hazar Mother, Jedah, Hadaram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimel, Sheba, Ophir, Havilah, Jahab. All of them were his sons. And they all lived in between Mesha and Safar. Now I can believe that they were all his sons, cause back then it probably wasn't no marriage, marriage. It was like how it is now, just reproducing and going about the business type stuff. And all of them had their own different tribes, lands, nations, and languages. And according to all the lands, nations, tribes, and languages. All of them were sons of Shem. Now, remember when I said they weren't his, they weren't his actual sons, but 
Shim had all of them. Like all the people that I just probably, like I just discussed were for Shim. They were Shim people and they all had their different languages and all that. Now I'm gonna end the video right there, y'all. I know it was just, it, it, it's literally just more characters, but it's gonna get it's gonna get interesting. I know it will. I know it will. So just stick with me. Hey, this will be easier for the long run. This video here, y'all come to the video and be like, who was this person? Come to the video. Okay, that person was that person's father. That's how I'm looking at it. So I'm just gonna drop this video and just gonna have these names in this video right here. So I now gotta, so we don't gotta go into information yet. This video could just be just, just to know everybody's name. That being said, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Have a great day. Happy to y'all. I'm out.